All right, I'm here with Izzy Elkafoss of Team Izzy Elkafoss. Uh, we just wrapped up the Sunday night draft league in Fridley. Uh, team Eugene Phelps took down Team Junius Ho in the finals. Um, we have video of your finish against Team Junius Ho. Talk about that. Uh, I mean, Nels hit a really tough shot um, to put him up one. We inbounded the ball to Zal in the corner. He drove uh, Cruz. Got some body on him. Should have been a foul. They didn't call it. Um, even I think Cruz himself even admitted that we should have been in the finals. Uh, so he knew it was a foul. The rest didn't call it. So all the whistles, it happens, whatever. Who was the biggest steal of this draft? Uh, the biggest steal. It was probably. It probably had to have to be Zhao. Zhao was probably the biggest steal. Uh, for the winners, well, actually Rod Powell was the biggest deal since he actually wasn't in the league and Hellman got hurt and they picked him up. That's the biggest deal. Okay, do you think Rod Powell would have gone somewhere in the second round, early second round? Or do you think he would have gone before that? He would have gone. He would have gone in the first round. Who would have taken him? Would you, would you have taken him in the first round? No, probably Gino. Gino would have taken him. <laughs> okay, well it works out then in the end, I guess. Um, but he wouldn't have gotten preps. T talk about what it. Well, he could have gotten Krebs in the second round. No, I would have taken Krebs. Okay, well, then he would have gotten Jordan Young, and he was still to beat you. He doesn't know Jordan Young. He wouldn't have taken him. Okay, so talk about what it's like for some of these rec guys to get to play with the Mark Cruises, the Johnny Gilberts, the Paris Kyles of the world. Um, I think it differs depending on who you're playing with. Uh, Paris always plays with he's, – he's always trying. He always gets everybody involved. Some of these other superstar players, I would say – don't really trust their teammates to kind of rely on their own individual talent and try to get them. They basically put it on themselves to get them to the finals or to get them to win games. Paris gets everybody involved, and he's got that calm demeanor. Uh, he's on another level completely. Okay, well, congratulations to Team, team Eugene Phelps. Uh, we'll be starting the next. I'd say that's Team Paris Kyles, but yeah. We'll be starting the next Fridley Draft League on May 5th. Um, email me at the email address here across your screen if you uh, are interested in becoming a general manager. Um, Sign-ups are actually now active for the Fridley Draft League, so you can sign up. Um, hopefully we will still have rims on May 5th because yeah. uh, these rims are just getting a workout right now. Holy cow. And, All right. Yeah, I, I would say for the people that didn't play in this draft, tournament, I, draft league, I would say 80%, even the teams that lost, I think they actually did enjoy it. This has probably been one of the most fun experiences I've had um, with Ultimate Hoops just because you know you play with these guys that you never played with and it's a completely different dynamic than when you're playing your uh, regular league at night so I hope we can get eight teams of 64 players that would be awesome so uh, sign up. Awesome thank you sir.